Today we are in Cholula. And today I'm a little bit stomach sick. We got a three dollar sub. I asked for sauce on the side. You give me four containers of salsa. Oh, so stoked. Uh, but it's okay. It's okay. We're gonna power through this and uh, enjoy the day out here. But as soon as we get some food, we're gonna head up to uh, a few of the churches, pyramid, and explore the city. Yeah, stay tuned for Cholula. Pit stop to get some. What was it? Spinach, orange, cactus, cactus uh, pineapple. and pineapple juice. Um, interesting mix. Freshly made. This, would, this oh, I think would be good for you. <laughs> oh, it's so nice after just like oh. weeks of <laughs> booze. <and laughs> yeah. Another day, another church. <laughs> That's it. So Cholula is known for its churches. They say there's a church for every day of the year here. Wow. So we're going to be running into a lot of churches here. And it's not a very big town either, is it? No, there's two sides of the town apparently. Uh, and there's this pyramid that's kind of now covered. And there's a church on top of it that divides the two towns. So we'll be... Hmm. We're on one side of the town now, which is San Andres de Cholula. Oh, wow. And we're going to be going to the other side. To the battle. Shortly after this. Battle of the religions. Yep. Oh yeah, you can build a pyramid of all the church right on top of it. All this was hand placed. This place is so quiet and peaceful. It's really nice. Yeah. Like, not many cars, not many people. It's just calm. Mm -hmm. Small town vibes. Small town vibes. It's beautiful. And the pyramid. I'm starting to see the base of it. Yeah. Just on the side over there, that's a church. And underneath it is a covered up pyramid. Some of it is uncovered on the side there. We're gonna yeah. try and get in there and explore some of it. So this is a Mexica altar, 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 <laughs> uh, and they did sacrifice, human sacrifices here, and they found the remains of children as uh, some of the sacrifices. And this here is 1,100 years old. <laughs> Pretty epic how old this is, how it's still standing, and how up there you see a church from a modern or newer civilization and here an ancient one and they're both all in one. Oh yeah. It's a clash of cultures yeah. or a meshing of cultures really because they still exist.
rocks are smaller. So as Jazz and I explored the town of Cholula, we came across a house that caught our attention. It had a big open courtyard and its doors were wide open and welcoming passing by traffic. As we walked around, the owner approached us and told us the remarkable history of the land we found ourselves on. Once an old convent built in 1860, this house once had tunnels leading all the way to the church we saw on top of the mountain. A pyramid, in fact, that is now covered with a church on top of it. Baldin, the owner, and also a passionate photographer, then took us to the rooftop to show us his favorite views. He even went as far as risking it all to snap a few photos for us. Baldin, if you're seeing this video, thank you for your warm hospitality. Nice Gracias. Bye bye. Bye bye. Well, that was a very unique experience, completely unexpected. But amazing. We got some great views, good photos, and yeah. some history. He even took photos for us. Yeah, that's great. Yeah. Wow. So, I've been fe I have not been feeling too well today, but we finally sat down for our first proper meal. It's 2.30 in the afternoon, and I was talking to the server wanting to order something a bit easier on the stomach, and he suggested this, a cocktail called Piedra. And it's anise, fennel, and tequila. It's kind of like a Jägermeister in flavor, and it's supposed to settle the stomach. So we're gonna give it a shot. I'm gonna give it a shot, and hopefully it heals me. Some local natural medicine. None of that pharma stuff. Cheers.